just like super ratchet. <laughs> it wasn't ratchet. It was a little ratchet, but not too ratchet. guys so it is all-star weekend i'm not in atlanta with the festivities um i decided to stay in houston i'm about to go out right now to seaside lounge because my friend is in town from dc so i'm about to go hit it up see what it's looking like today sunday i literally have not been out all weekend i've been in the house all weekend like, people were hitting me up to go out last night, but I never made it out. Because, first of all, they didn't have a plan to like, 10 p.m. Then they hit me up at 10 p.m. Like, oh, come here. Like, no, that's not how it works. Like, at 10 p.m., I'm already, like, relaxed, probably watching Netflix. And so, I don't really feel like doing my makeup and all that at the last minute. Yeah, no. So, right now, I'm waiting for my Uber because I don't want to drive. Because you know when you be driving, especially on Sunday, fun day, people go from place to place to place and you gotta pay for parking at all the different places. So I'm about to Uber and then I'm about to get in day ride to go to the other places. And there's Uber home. Cause it's coming out cheaper doing that than paying parking at all these different places. So Uber about to be here in eight minutes. I'm still trying to decide on what shoes to wear. I had these one shoes I wanted to wear, my Louboutin tennis shoes but they're literally white every time i wear them someone steps on them and i have to wash them again so i have not put them in. i need to wash them tonight because i've been wanting to wear them but i can't wear them because people be stepping on them it literally annoys me it's like i'm behind you like watch where you're going and each time it's been like a big man like they ain't big but they're bigger than me but it's just like, dang, one time, last time, we're literally in a line. We're in a line, sir, and I guess he had to turn back around. He's like talking to the bouncer or something, so he had to turn back around. So he's just walking backwards. Like, bro, first of all, you know this is not the exit. This is, like, this is the line, like, what? And he's on my shoes, and I was so mad. Like, I had such an attitude with him. I was so mad at him. But anyways, let me go find my shoes, and then, we're gonna be ready. Oh, all right. So I just got home. I went to Seaside. It was very packed there. It was like super ratchet. <laughs> it wasn't ratchet. It was a little ratchet, but not too ratchet. After Seaside, how much say it was ratchet? And I'm over here smacking my lips like that. So as you can see, I'm making some coffee. I'm making some iced coffee. And I picked up this creamer inspired by um, caramel macchiato. So hopefully it tastes good. Let me get some, sorry. So I'm headed to my office because I have to do some stuff for work. I usually, I usually work from home, but today we have to like do some stuff in the office. So I'm going to start heading there pretty soon. I don't know if you guys know, you guys don't know, <laughs> but so my position now, my current role, I've been at my job for not even two months. I started January 19th. I feel like I've been there forever though. But yeah, I haven't even been there two months. And I also didn't share this with like a lot of people, but I was laid off during COVID, like in September. It was a total shock. Well, they told me like in June or July, but then I was laid off in September. So I was without a job for a little bit and I was a little stressed out because I had a mortgage and I'm like, I just bought this house. I got a mortgage. I'm gonna pay my mortgage each month. That 
And I didn't have, and then me knowing I didn't have no health insurance. I'm like, what if something happens to me? I have no health insurance. So it was very stressful, but luckily, thanks to God, thanks to God, I was not unemployed for that long. But one thing that I did learn in that whole process is how important relationships are and networking is because I reached out to one of my previous coworkers who worked with me at my previous organization. And I told her I applied at the company I work at now. And she's like, oh, like I know the director over there. And like, so she talked to them and that was very helpful. Because when I got, first of all, I'm horrible at interviewing. So the whole job process, finding a new job, I hate it. Like, when it, my previous position, I thought I was gonna be there for the rest of my life. Like, it's a, it was a big national organization, but literally I thought I was gonna be there my whole entire life. I started off like in a lower role, then I went up as a supervisor, then I changed department. So yeah, I thought I was gonna be there forever. But the role I'm in now, I love the organization I'm with now. They're so laid back there. I'm like, I was asleep. This is only, good. I think it was like God wanted me to move on, really. Okay, this is good. I went to Hobby Lobby for the first time in my life and I got these jars. It was three something altogether because they had some sort of sale going on. But I got them because I was tired of seeing my Q-tips in these little, I don't know what these are called, cotton rounds <laughs> in these little plastic bags. So, I got these to organize that. Okay, bon appetit. So I made bruschetta chicken with crispy mozzarella crust and bacon mashed potatoes. I did not film this one, but if y'all want me to cook this again and film it, let me know, cause I will do so. But I was just a little lazy today. I literally almost had a heart attack. I thought I could not find my wine opener, but I found it, of course. Okay, so this is my first time making this. So, moments of truth. Full disclosure, in the middle of cooking this, I ran out of olive oil. So good. It's um, 10 out of 10 for me. No, it's like a nine, maybe an eight. Hey guys, so right now I'm about to go to dinner. I don't know what the name of this restaurant is. I know it's an Indian place, like in the gallery area. So I'm trying to film when I get there and I'm gonna let y'all know what the restaurant is when I get there. Um, oh, it's called Musafir. I'm already running late, so I'm about to run out so I can meet them there and I'll leave them waiting. Hey guys, so of course I'm about to go out again. I feel like I went out so much this week. Like your girl was just out, 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 out. But I still made it to work on time and that's all that matters. Um, I probably should have stayed home to take down this hair because it's definitely time to take it down. But you know, I'm on my Chloe and Haley Bailey. But I'm gonna take it down sometime this week because I'm getting tired of it. I'm sure everybody who sees me and my Zoom calls at work is getting tired of it. Yeah. So I'm about to go to Seaside again. Um, I'm meeting up with my friend Dada and my other friend Tiffany is supposed to be meeting me there. I saw it's going to be there at 9. I think I'm already running late. I don't know if I'm going to drive because I'm not going to go. Dada likes to stay out all night. I'm not about to do that. He gonna be trying to go to the strip club, all that. No, I'm gonna go to Seaside and I'm gonna go home. Let's see if that actually happens. <laughs>
But let me show y'all what I'm wearing real quick. Okay guys, so this is what I'm wearing. These shoes. My feet really be sliding up in those shoes. But I really need to wear this before it got too hot. Cause I was like, I need to hurry up and wear this before it gets hot. But so it was raining today. So I was like, this is a perfect opportunity for me to whip this out. Good morning, guys. So, as you guys know, I went out last night, but we gotta be up for work in the morning. So, I'm up. I'm trying to decide do I want coffee or a smoothie? Hmm. So, I decided on a smoothie instead of coffee. That thing thick. I added some collagen powder to it. Because I have this collagen powder that says it has no taste and you're supposed to add it to water. It literally tastes like bones. I don't know what bones taste like, but I would assume it would taste like that. But anyways, so last night was cool. We went to Seaside and then we went to Rose Gold. As y'all could see, I tried to vlog there. Be a little bit better at what I've been doing instead of just being at home. And then the next scene, I'm back. Yeah, I'm at home. Then the next scene, I'm back at home from the club and I like, you know, filming in between. So I try to vlog for y'all a little bit for y'all. But yeah, I'm about to get ready for my meeting. So I gotta put a little shirt on for my little Zoom call that starts like now. I'm ending the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And see you next time.